I'm meteorologist Greg Schaup. Here's your 33 outdoor forecast. Thank you. That makes me feel warm inside. Welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I don't know if you've been following this or not, today is a day that uh, biblical scholars are very, very excited about. The Dead Sea Scrolls uh, are being made public. I think for the first time maybe ever, and certainly if not ever, well then a long time. <laughs> One of the surprises in the Dead Sea Scrolls now, frequent use, and this stunned everybody, frequent use of the word Farfignugan. They... <laughs> Well, have you been reading about CIA nominee Robert uh, Gates? He's being considered to head the agency, and one of the charges now being considered is that this man forged intelligence documents to overestimate the power of the Russian military force. In fact, one witness said he actually saw a document that Gates prepared indicating that some Russian soldiers were 19 feet tall. <laughs> When do we bring out the girls? Not soon enough. Um, <laughs> yikes. There is no dress code here, folks. <laughs> did, you, did you have shoes when you came in? Did you have, oh, you still have them. I, you know, this is New York City. And you may not know everybody you're sitting near, so keep an eye on your shoes. It's, I always do here at the, the big show. I thought this was, uh, kind of, you know what we could do? We could take them out and have them uh, shined. You want us to do that? Yeah, sure. Do it. Hold it. It's way, they don't really know if we can. They're, they're suede. I don't know if we can... Look, Paul, pump. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to do with suede. I'm we sorry. Can we can have them brushed. Right. All right, all right. Uh, our announcer, Bill Wendell, seems to know a little something <laughs> about, about the care of these. All right, then, then it'll be your project. You go have them brushed. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> After 10 years, finally, something he can handle. <laughs> oh, it's a joke. Just keep, no, just come on, Bill. It's a joke. No, well, Settle it later in Hurley's. Boom! <laughs> Yesterday, uh, folks down there in Texas, First Lady, I thought this was cute. She's uh, First Lady Barbara Bush is down there, and she goes into a, uh, a high school class, and she says, Hello, class, I'm the president's wife. I'll take some questions. I thought that was, you know, that's cute. And uh, so one kid gets up, and he says, uh, Mrs. President, or whatever he said. 
He said, what, what, uh, what do you carry in your purse? And I thought, you know, that's a pretty good question. And so she was very nice about it. And she opened her, took out her little handbag there, and she had a, a, a tissue, had some tissues, like, uh, you know, Kleenex kind of things. She also had, uh, like, a compact with some uh, makeup and a mirror. And she also had that uh, white glove from the Thriller tour of Michael Jackson. <laughs> I thought, wow, how, how odd that that would be in the... You're never going to see your shoes again. Ah, <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, man, you could not have selected a better television program for your evening viewing tonight. Deborah Norville is here. Michael McKeon is here. B.B. King is right over there. B.B. And, um... We have a, a nine-year-old fellow from DeSoto, Missouri. His name is Matt Ball. What do you think, Morty? Shall I tell him what he did? Sure. Yeah. Hey, this kid, this young man, swiped a car. That's right. That's right. Now is our friend Paul Schaefer. Say hello to Paul. He's right over there. And shoes back. Look at them shoes back. Hello, everybody. Hey, cool. Nice to see you. Where's that taken? Dan? California. Step, step right this way. We have your table waiting for you. Stop Thank you very right much. We nice to see nice you, Paul. table for you in the How corner. How you doing? I'm doing good. You know, I was reminded with that shoe thing of, of, of the time I was in a restaurant on the Upper West Side and I saw Robin Leach mm -hmm. with a date drinking champagne out of a shoe, out of her shoe. Yeah. Talk about lifestyles. What you know? a hip guy. Yeah. Very, but very hip guy. But I looked under guy. the table and she had both her shoes on. Yeah. And I'm saying, where did this other shoe come from? I don't know. They, they travel with it for drinking purposes, I, I would guess. I just imagine him calling her up, you know, Sandra, meet me at the restaurant. Bring the shoe. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. You do that pretty well, the voice there. I got it down a little bit, yeah. You know, I'm just going to tell you right off what I hate. You know, something's wrong with American life these days when you got to, you got to, you know, you go to these self-service gas stations. That's all right. I don't mind pumping my own gas. In fact, I like pumping my own gas. I enjoy the smell of gas. Mm -hmm. I, like, I like having gas on me as I drive home. <laughs> when they ask you to pay first, the prepayment pump, does that drive you insane? Yeah. Yeah. So last night, I, I'm on empty. It's fumes. The little light is flickering on and off, blinking on and off. I think um, I'm going to run out of gas finally. I roll right into the, the filling station. I get to the pump and I think, thank God someone's looking after me. I'm going to fill this thing right up. So I can't get the gas, I get it in, and I'm squeezing the thing, and I'm banging on it, and finally the guy comes out and he says, you have to pay first. first. And I said, well, okay, but I, I don't know how much exactly. And he said, well, how much do you want? And I said, well, I would like to fill it up. And he said, well, you have to pay first. And I said, well, I don't know how much that's going to cost. Yeah. I know. So I run inside, I'm kind of hot now, and I gave them $20, full well knowing that that's not going to fill up the tank. I go out there, sure, I pump in my $20 worth, that's three quarters of a tank. So now, for the next half hour, I run in there, I'd like a dollar more. Yeah. I run back out. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go again for another dollar. Uh, uh. Thank you very much. Now, why don't you get over there and jam with Tito Puente? What? <laughs> That doesn't mean anything. I've just adopted that as my new slogan. All right. Whenever things are going great, whenever things are not going great, whenever there's a lot of laughter, whenever things are dead quiet, I'm just going to say, why don't you get over there and jam with Tito Puente? Be my pleasure. Tonight we got to jam with B.B. King, though. That's you? right. You know, we had a, I got a great question for you if we get a chance to talk to you later. All right? You want it now or you want it later? No. Okay. What, what is your, your first name? Riley. R-I-L-E-Y. Riley. Riley. Huh. And... and is you, is you, does your middle name begin with a B? B. Riley B. King. Riley B. King? Yes. Well, you, you know, you, you got an extra B there. <laughs> That's Blues Boy. Oh, Blues Boy. Oh, there you go. Because it could be, it could be R.B. King. That would work pretty well, too, don't yes, you? Yeah, that could be. I'm glad we got that cleared up. <laughs> you, you want Wendell to take a look at your shoes? <laughs> Uh, you know, you know what we have here tonight, Paul? We have uh, a whole supply of charts and graphs just uh -huh. brimming with important data for the modern American. Do you right. have a little theme music for yes, our I charts do. and graphs Yes, segment? I do. Okay, here we go. Paul, charts here. and graphs. Charts and graphs all night long. Oh. Arts and crafts. Back where you belong. We're gonna get a lot of laughs, yeah, out of day. 
Waves, shots, and grabs. I don't, I don't feel much like doing my little comedy piece now. Oh, no, go ahead, go ahead. It'll never, it'll never be as good as that. It's not BB King. No, you're right. All but right. It's a different thing. That's right. Here's our first chart and graph. Uh, the category, unlikely things that people think might actually happen to them. That's the category. Unlikely things people think might actually happen to them. 11% think that they might get struck by lightning. 14% think that they might win the publisher's clearinghouse sweepstakes. 75% think they might get married to Elizabeth Taylor at some point. Here's our next chart and graph, or graph or both. What will be done with the 450 Minuteman ICBMs cut by President Bush? Here's the allocation. 250 will be destroyed, 194 will be stored, 6 will be used to rid John Sununu's backyard of Blue Jays. <laughs> that damn theme song. <laughs> Nothing's gonna seem funny now. <laughs> Christopher Cross hit records the average American can name. 4% could name sailing, 96% could not name any. <laughs> ah, here's a good one, relative brain size. <laughs> All right, relative brain size. We have man, there's a man, that's the size of a man's brain. And next to that, we have the comparative size of the house cat, you can see the difference. Next to that, the common parakeet. And finally, we have the guy who came up with the idea for Real People Reunion Show. Mm, why don't you go over there and jam with Tito Puente? Here we have the Ted Kennedy formula expressed for us tonight in the Charts and Graphs segment. All right, watch closely. Kennedy plus Chivas Regal minus pants <laughs> equals top-notch television comedy. Can't do any better than you. Next category, contents of ivory soap. 99 and 44 percent, 99 and 44 one hundredths percent pure. 56 one hundredths of one percent. <laughs> Deadly radon. Here we have a timeline showing great documents in the United States history. 1776, Declaration of Independence. 1787, the Constitution. 1863, the Emancipation Proclamation. 1991, Victoria's Secret Fall Catalog. <laughs> How are we doing? We got enough time for this? Yeah, you know, I, th I thought maybe the theme music was a little long. Here we have a diagram. This is the Late Night with David Letterman diagram. Uh, circle A represents highly paid late night employees. Circle B represents people who nap while the show is being taped. C is the area these two circles overlap, and that, of course, is our producer, Robert Morton. Do we have enough time? Seriously. Yeah. All right. Bailey, you're doing a wonderful job there on camera three tonight. You know, a couple of weeks ago, were you here? The night camera three went crazy and killed a guy? Wow. Yeah, we had to question. call Bailey in from home. He wrestled it into submission. Uh, responses of heterosexual men when asked if they would like to sleep with Sports Illustrated swimsuit model Elle McPherson. 5% said sure, 15% you bet, 80% barked like frenzied dog. <laughs> <laughs> An excellent way to impress a date. Indeed. <laughs> this is going on forever, Biff. Are you sure your clock hasn't stopped? <laughs> All right. Okay. Average salary of NBA players by height, 6 feet, $500,000 a year, 7 feet, $2 million a year, 20 feet, 
100 million dollars a year now. That's only, that's only a projection. That's, could have saved us some time right there. Uh, responses to a recent survey, what are a mother's most important duties? 52% said provide loving environment for her children. 36% said instill sense of positive self-image in her youngsters. 12% said hire a professional killer to eliminate daughter's cheerleading rival. We done now? Man, way too many of these. All right, I'll do one more, and then it will, uh, we'll edit this, I guess, is what we'll have to do. <laughs> Here's our final one. Get ready for that music again. Do you have more closing music? Oh, more? Sure, I do. Yeah, sure, okay. I do. Timeline, the 21st century and beyond. Uh, 2050 A.D., fully operational space station. 10,000 A.D., human colonies on asteroids. 500,000 A.D., Earth engulfed by sun. 1 million A.D., Democrats regain presidency. <laughs> All right, boys, take it Shots and grab! All right, uh, we're going to do a commercial. Deborah Norville is here. Please come on back. It's not just a car, it's your freedom. Tune up. You can't do it with a screwdriver and timing light anymore. You know, spot plugs all look the same to the naked eye. When you change a plug, you can actually see the difference on the screen. We always recommend AC spark plugs and wires, the kind this car came with. GM training, I'd be lost and here without it. See Mr. Goodwrench wherever you see these signs. Good people, good parts, now a good price too. Check it out. Planters is on the move with a new reason why everybody loves a nut. Hi, I'm Terry Carrison, and here at Carrie's carry Alls, if you can't carry it, we don't carry it. And that's why we love Planters Fresh Roast Peanuts in the new vacuum brick pack. It becomes a reclosable bag, easy to carry anywhere, full of those great tasting Planters Peanuts. I mean, who wouldn't get carried away? You're out right of here. Planters Fresh Roast Peanuts, another reason why everybody loves a nut. Prices are low at Subway, but I'd rather focus on sandwiches. People call them hoagies or heroes or submarines, because they're shaped like submarines. But we call them Subway sandwiches. Our six-inch meatball sub features meatballs and sauce on bread I just baked, all for a low economical price. I won't say how low, but you'll probably find enough in the cushions of your couch. <laughs> for 25 years, Subway has quietly made some of the best sandwiches anywhere, like the six-inch meatball sub. Only $1.69, only at Subway. 27, 16, 41, 41. Yes, 30. Yes, we bet. Oh, 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 we bet. Deborah Norville is here. Your shoes are ready, man. You just brushed them. You want to put them on or you want to put them on later? Here, let's put them on right there. There you go. Okay, we, we have them in a seven and a half also. Very nice. Okay, let's try the other one. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> like you'd know. There you go. Hope you enjoy those uh, shoes, man. Anybody need anything pressed? We'll give it a crack with the steam. Let's do the uh, top ten list and then get the hell out of here. Let's just, uh... Morty explained to me why the first segment lasted so long. He said we were waiting for a big laugh to get out on. Oh, <laughs> that, that was the delay. Man. We could have been here till dawn. Oh, man. Uh, the category tonight from the home office in Lebanon, Pennsylvania. Top ten signs you've gone to a bad restaurant. Here we go. Number 10, after presenting food, waiter says, good luck. Number 9, the ASPCA has the kitchen staked out. Number 8, 
Guy stops by table to ask if you want your fork spit shined, number seven. While drinking glass of water, you suddenly realize it's the water that's amber colored, not the glass, number six. Number six, free range chickens wander around men's room. <laughs> That. Number five, you ask for a napkin and the waiter says, oh, who's Mr. Fancy? Number four, one of your burritos is a rolled up ace bandage. Number three. Well, get ready for number three. The only thing French about the chef is the way he's kissing your wife. Number two. When you wake up, your date is gone, and the number one sign you've been to a bad restaurant, they consider saltines a pasta. Okay, let's get one of our guests out here and see what the hell they can do. Our first guest is a uh, former member of the NBC family. She was the co-host of the Today Show, and she has just begun her own live radio talk program called uh, From Her Home to Your Home. It's on the ABC Radio Network. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the program, back to the building, Deborah Norville. Deborah. <laughs> Haven't seen you in a while. You have uh, a brand new baby girl, boy. Boy. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah a 50 50 shot. Seven months old. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank it, you. it must be very exciting for you to be starting uh, what probably is going to be a terrific family for you, huh? It's, it really is. You know, I don't think I realized how much I was going to enjoy motherhood yeah. um, until I got into it. And how's your husband taking it? Is he uh, very excited he's about great. the baby? Yeah, he is so good. Um, he's. He, He's wonderful, and I, I didn't expect that he would be anything other than that, but I'm just, I'm thrilled that he's so into parenthood as well. Well, good. You know, you, you look much... I don't know, I mean, I don't know what to say, but, you know, that, that pretty well sums it up, don't you think? <laughs> yeah. You, you, look, you look terrific, you look, and much different from the last time I saw you. Explain to us now what it is we're looking at. What have you done? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't, I don't know. <laughs> but, you know, the last time... Scissors, maybe jog your memory. You 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 changed your hair a little there bit. There you go. Before yeah. you had the big kind of anchor hair, right? Anchor, anchor helmet. Yeah. No, he's absolutely right. It was anchor helmet. It was. It looks good. The way anchor ladies it wear their good, hair. You, you look like ten years younger now. You look like a little school kid. Thank you. I love that. And I, I can I brag? I'm 57 pounds skinnier than the day I gave birth. And, and your husband's got to be happy about that, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but no, no. Here comes the moose. <laughs> yeah, but no, seriously, I know uh, when, a, when a woman is pregnant, she, uh, what's the normal range of weight? They gain like uh, 30 to 40 pounds? 25 to 35 is what they 25 say. 25 to 35. And you gained 57 pounds? No, I gained 45. Though, right. Which was still 10 more than I should have. But um, when I stopped eating, finally, I stopped eating for long enough to lose it all in then. So. Yeah. So the baby, when the baby was born, uh, he was like 10 pounds. Seven five. Seven five. Yeah, I can't. I can't do this math. I don't. <laughs> and and then and so now that left you. And were you thinking for a while uh, that I this didn't is? I think gonna... I was ever going to lose this weight. Because you never had a weight problem ever, did you before? Oh, please. Really? Yeah. No. I mean, I see food. I mean, there's no point in eating it. Just slap it right on the side. Right there on it. Yeah. It just it weight sticks to me. But finally, this summer we were away for the summer. Where'd you go? We were in France yeah. for two months. Oh well, forget it. You can't you can't lose weight if you're eating in France. No, I mean there's 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 croissants to start and then there's jam and then there's all that rich sauces and stuff but finally in august i looked at myself i said i can't go back to new york looking like the blimp i was when i left mm. and i started working out and um and i lost it yeah good for you it's very difficult i've never i've never had a weight problem in my life until like the last when i stopped smoking cigars i realized i was putting on some weight i was i was getting i thought for a minute i had merv griffin's disease <laughs> Well, you know, he, he, he hosted that damn talk show of his for so long, he just started to, he got a, he turned into a balloon. <laughs> uh, and then, and so now all I want to lose is like five pounds, and finally I have a way to do it. It's a simple diet. I eat one meal a day, 38,000 calories, and that's it. And the meal lasts 
from what, 10 in the morning until 6 That's at right. night, right? But anyway, you know, you just, you, uh, you get a sense that this is, uh, I don't want to say you're starting over, but it's certainly another chapter in your life, all of this. Huh? You are absolutely right. It's another chapter, and, and I can't tell you how good I feel about myself, about where I am personally, where I am professionally, and there's not... I don't think there were probably a lot of people when I said I'm not coming back to the Today Show who thought I would have been able to say that. Yeah, good for you. That's, that's great. Because I'm really happy. Because any way that you interpreted that or whatever your impressions were of that whole situation, none of them really seemed all that positive. No, it was not a lot of fun. And, and I said at the time it was all going on that I can only imagine the pain of childbirth being worse. Well, yeah. now having had a baby, let me tell you, that's a breeze. Yep. Um, yep. So and it, it puts everything in perspective, now. doesn't it? I want to do this. Yeah, yeah. You know what? <laughs> You can do more. You can do like this. Wow. That's fun. Can I enjoy this. Yeah, well, maybe a little bit. Okay. Now we have to make an appointment. <laughs> okay. Just go ahead. Just once. Be easy. Don't get rough. No rough stuff. Okay. Uh, let's see. What are we doing? Huh? We're doing a commercial? Yeah, all right. We'll do a commercial, and then we'll be right back here with uh, Deborah. <laughs> From coast to coast, Dodge Caravan has happily served more families than any other minivan. But we've made it even better, because we've come up with an all-wheel drive Dodge Caravan. So now you not only get a vehicle loaded with safety features, including the first minivan airbag, you've got one that automatically handles just about anything the weatherman can throw at. No shifting, no levers, no sweat. The all-wheel drive Dodge Caravan, now with a warranty choice no other manufacturer offers. Why put up with glasses that just don't fit? LensCrafters has so many ways to fit your snug points. Like snug fit pads that flex to comfortably hug your nose. LensCrafters, better fit for greater comfort in about an hour. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure out why people like Wendy's Super Value Menu best. We've got nine delicious choices, just 99 cents each. Like our new Caesar side salad and Junior Cheeseburger Deluxe. Look, our big baked potato is a meal by itself and our junior bacon cheeseburger comes with two strips of bacon. Sometimes I wonder why other places don't offer as much. I guess you have to be a rocket scientist to figure that out. Now get nine delicious choices for 99 cents each on the Super Value Menu at Wendy's. I crave snacks, but sometimes those calories have to be tabled. No problem. I've got Wrigley's Spearmint Gum, the great taste I love and only 10 little calories. Instead of munching, I enjoy pure chewing satisfaction. Dressed up for the most important date of your life. Before you're dressed up, know where you're going. Calvary Temple Worship Center, a church that cares where you're going. A nine-year-old, now you have a, a brand new uh, son, you have, we have a nine-year-old who stole a car, so you may have trouble like that ahead of you. Can I tell you what they said in the green room? Yeah. They were listening to your, um, your charts, and arts and charts or yeah. whatever, and uh, I think it was his mom who said, now, was that funny? And he went, uh-uh. He said, you don't have anything to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, so that was like a test. If he it thought was it was funny, then he was in trouble. Then he was in trouble. Yeah, well, the kid has stolen a car, so who are you going to take his word or... Oh, never mind. Yeah. Ah, uh, let's talk about the radio show. Now, I understand this thing. You know, by the way, I think some of the most entertaining uh, c communication uh, around is, is uh, AM radio. There's Larry some. King's got a great show. Tom Snyder has a great show. You have a show. And if you listen to this stuff, it's, it's, uh, it's great. It's fun. Um, and what's a little different from my radio program from some of, uh, like, Tom and Larry and those guys is I'm doing it from home most nights. Right. And now, how can you do that? Y you wouldn't believe how easy it is. Um, they put in some extra telephone wires. They gave me a headset with a microphone right. and an extra one for a guest. So when you come and be on the program, uh -huh. you can come and sit next to me and wear a headset. And, and we do an interview as we're talking right here. But what happens if during the day, like the neighbor kids swiped your headset or something? <laughs> That's a problem. You're screwed. No, I'm not. I'm not. Because <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what, we had, a, we had a disaster the other night. Somebody in the control room hung up on me uh -huh. at, while I'm on the air. Now, this is a problem because... 
I'm now off the radio. So they start running commercials. So what I did is I dialed the 800 number. It's a call-in show. Folks can call in and talk. So I called in like any other listener. They wouldn't answer the phone. The damn thing kept ringing and ringing and ringing and ringing. <laughs> it's me. Somebody answer. Because I know we've only got two minutes yeah. of commercials. And I've used up at least a minute and a half trying to get them to answer the darn phone. So finally, I called him back on the control room line, and mm -hmm. I said, for Pete's sake, call me at home yeah. and talk to me, you know, on the telephone. Did, did they realize that they had disconnected the host of the program? Yes, they did, and they were oh like, my. I, could just, I had this picture in my mind of everybody sitting there going, ah, 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 what do we do? And nobody did anything. Yeah. So I'm feverishly dialing on the phone trying to get somebody to, to answer me. But, but worse than that, if somebody had answered and was, was hosting the show in your place and taking calls, oh, yeah. like, you were just, you were Out gone. Here. Sorry, it's yeah. uh, Deborah Norville's show, but we don't know where she is. Yeah. So. Do you enjoy doing it? Yeah, it's fun. But now, do you ever get out of the house because you have the kid and the show? You're always in there. I've got, I've gotten house locked a few times. Yes, yeah, so yeah. I have to force myself to get out. Good, try to get out. And then your husband, uh, your husband's name is uh, Dieter, right? Dieter Wellner, yeah. No, what is, what? Carl. 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 Uh, <laughs> thought it, thought it. I, it might have been, but isn't he? Uh, he's like foreign, isn't he? He's foreign. Yeah, yeah. he's Swedish. But Swedish, not, but not Dieter. Estonia, Estonia not that's yeah. right. Okay, good. <laughs> I thought it was Dieter. But our Sorry. next kid, you know, it's a great name. We'll name him Dieter. Dieter. Oh, yeah. Dieter. So that's a nice name. Little Dieter. Uh, uh, good to see you. Yeah, and hey. I couldn't be happier for you. And hey. good luck with the Big Gear Radio Show. Now we'll do a commercial station identification. All right. We'll be back after station identification. It's a symbol of security for millions of Americans. A document that protects your rights in all 50 states. And an inspiration for all who honor it. It's the Goodyear Promise. Available only with Goodyear Certified Auto Service. It includes a nationwide warranty that promises we'll fix your car right or fix it again free at 2,700 locations nationwide. Good tires. Good service. Good people. Goodyear. The new Tide is Ultra Tide. Now I found something that works. <laughs> ultra small, ultra intensified. When I opened that box and saw that little teeny scoop, I said, no way. Dirt, grass, nastiness. Straight through the fabric. For cleaning deep down inside, New Tide is ultra powerful. One little scoop cleans down to the fiber itself. It's clean. Excellent. The New Tide is ultra tide. I've told people, my own friends, to try it. My first car didn't even have a seatbelt. Of course, it was a tank, but that's all changed. Except it seems when people talk safety, they're still talking size. They always thought the Saturn should behave bigger than it looked. Imagine having the option of anti-lock brakes on a car that's less than $10,000. It's just that it's scary to think you'd have to spend $40,000 to feel safe. the Statue of Liberty disappear. Now, now, live, live on stage, new David Copperfield illusion. The aligning logic, redefining magic. David Copperfield. Reserved seats available at the Embassy Theater box office or charged by phone, 424-5665. fire department needs a couple of good men, but they'll settle for Mark and Brian. Sunday, Mark and Brian train to be firemen. You'll confront the backdrafts and battle white hot places. Then Marshall discovers what's beneath Erie, Indiana, and ends up misplaced. Misplaced. The real-life adventures of Mark and Brian in Erie, Indiana, 7, 6 Central, NBC Sunday. A news update from TV 33, your 24-hour local news channel. Hello, I'm Melissa Long. There'll be an investigation into what at least one congressman calls rubber gates. Tonight, lawmakers approved a measure that would close the private house bank because of reports it routinely allowed house members to overdraw their checking accounts penalty free. And an iguana is loose in Fort Wayne's West Central neighborhood. Its owner says it won't bite, but it will whip its tail. More news in an hour, weather in 30 minutes. Oh, don't give me that! You oh, always bring up the hook! I'm not talking to you anymore! Daddy? You 
forgot your Bible. In an unstable world, your family needs a firm foundation. Jesus, always the same. From your friends at Calvary Temple Worship Center. Try this, Baron. Child's play. 85 rooms for shape, picked by a man with one leg. Your turn. The tea is Darjeeling, but the water's from a spring in Tibet. Your turn. Ah, uh, distinctive real cola taste. Diet Coke. Close, but not close enough. Caffeine-free Diet Coke. Great cola taste. No caffeine. Your health. Just for the taste of it. Break for the news every hour, only on TV 33. Welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us tonight. B.B. King is here. It sounds great. Yep, thanks, B.B., uh, for being here, sir. And we'll hear from you a bit later as well. And uh, later we have a nine-year-old kid who swiped a car and, and lived to tell about it. Also, uh, uh, Michael McKean is here in just a couple of minutes. Tomorrow on the show... You know, if he's foreign, there's a good chance his name is Dieter, right? I would have thought so, too. Yeah. Charles Grodin will be here tomorrow. Very funny man, very talented actor. Musical group, The Laws. 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 Yeah. The Laws. Laws. As in L.A., just Laws. Yeah, they're yeah. just the Laws. And uh, we'll have a man here making marshmallows. His name is John Kidd. Aww. Yeah, I know. I know. Your heart is broken. Our next guest was the lead singer of the band in uh, Spinal Tap and uh, played Lenny in the comedy series Laverne and Shirley. Now he is one of the co-stars of HBO's Sessions, which premieres this Sunday night. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the program, Michael McKean. Good to see you. Thank you for coming. Nice to see you. Take you to one. Thank you. Good of you to come back. The last time nice you were here, I believe you were, uh, you were talking about a play. You were in a play, is that right? Or? Let's not talk about the play anymore, David. I'm, I'm afraid to bring up anything here. I was here <laughs> plugging a play which closed in six weeks, and I was also blowing the horn for a TV series I was soon fired from. Oh, from is that right? From this very network, oh, as a matter of fact. I'm sorry to hear that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the TV so, series... That don't was... mention the new okay, one, okay? Well. Whatever you do, don't mention Sessions <laughs> on HBO this Sunday night, because it'll be, it'll be gone. No, this, like this one sounds very interesting, <laughs> and, and I think it, it seems more... More like a thoroughbred, maybe. I know maybe. what you mean by this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it has that, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah, it was created by Billy Crystal, who is a comedian, I believe, of some note, and a man named, <laughs> man named Fred Barron, who is a wonderful writer. And, um, and what is it? What is it that people are drawn to about this? I don't know whether they're drawn to it or not. Yeah, David, let's not jump ahead of the game Well, here. there's, there's oh, a big, big article about it in the New York Times yeah. this weekend. Well, it's, it's, I think it's a wonderful show. It's, uh, it's about a guy named Dan Carver, who is... Uh, Close to or near my age, mm -hmm. which is 40s, early 40s. Mm -hmm. You know what that age is like yet? Yeah. Do well, you? yes, I yes I remember being early 40s. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And um, he is undergoing uh, what you might call, uh, in shorthand, a midlife crisis. Yeah. He's uh, starting to ask a lot of questions he that never occurred to him to ask before. Right. Like, what the hell am I doing here? Yeah. So he has gone to see uh, uh, a very uh, gifted man named uh, Dr. Bookman. Dr. Bookman is helping him through some of these dark portions. <laughs> Shedding a light, as it were. Now, is, this, is this a half an hour of, yeah. of you as this character talking to Dr. Bookman? No, that would be boring, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> here's how we fix that. <laughs> no, it's uh, kind of the framework of the show is indeed a, a, a session with the shrink, but uh, uh -huh. we, we see inside the mind and the, <laughs> the trousers of this character. Hey, wait a minute. What? what? Now, Let what? me explain. Let me explain. <laughs> no, I mean, this is the first three shows and much of the fourth and sixth show <laughs> do concern a person's sexual identity. Uh -huh. And um, that's one reason we do, we're doing it on HBO because yeah. we don't have to, you know, hold our horses. And uh, <laughs> so we do... We just what? I don't you know. know. What, Paul? I, we don't Explain know. to me what that. Nobody could be. knows. I don't know. Yeah. Well, who would know? You know less than anyone, probably. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Come out here and kiss up to the band leader. I did that. I did that just to hear the rim shot, just to see if he was ready with it. Um, Let me ask you a question. Yes. Okay. Now, do uh, or uh, give us an example. Well, once I just wanted to finish saying that, that we we do flash forward and backward through this man's life and his uh, his his inner workings of his right. mind and his sexual fantasies and his. Give us an dreams. idea of what that would be like. Oh, I couldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was one. There's a moment where, and this isn't my fantasy. This see, I'm I'm a hired hand on the show. Right. I'm just an actor. But there's a scene where the character is tied to a bed. 
uh, and there are these two enormous, well, en enormously endowed uh, Horses. women. Horses. Women. Oh, women. <laughs> <laughs> we did. We wound up not shooting that sequence at all. But uh, there are these two. There are these two. Two uh, gorgeous women, and they're kind of all over me and everything. Are and they naked? Are the women naked? They're 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 naked in spirit. Uh, I see. I they see. are fully clothed. No, now, is there a representative clothed. from the cable company, the HBO, there on the set to make sure things don't get out of hand? Kind of a Miss Good Body type. Yeah. Yeah. She's yeah. This look. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. No. No, no actually. really? No. I think that's, uh, that's kind of what we like about HBO. Yeah. There's, there's no one there. Goes. They wanted to get out of hand. You shoot it at uh, an airport near the hotel, yeah. and what do you know? <laughs> Doesn't make any difference. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Can I tell you something that's the truth, and will yeah. you believe me? Absolutely. When I went in to join the Musicians Union, Local 47 in Los Angeles, the, you have to go, you have to sit there and undergo what is called the orientation, in which they tell you what is to be expected of you as a, a functioning member of the Musicians <laughs> Union, and what your family will get when you die in that small plane crash. <laughs> and um, so the man, the man who, who, who was my orientation officer, can you guess? Yeah, no. Tito Puente. Wow! Absolutely it's all part of God's great it's plan. It's a circle. As we say on sessions, it's a circle. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, will, will, do we see any of your friend Billy Crystal in the show, or is he just kind of the uh, producer and supervisor or whatever he does there? In the third show, you hear him say one word, yeah. but yeah. you can't really see him clearly. Yeah. It He's... would be fun to have him on, because I, I, I know that uh, the two of you work well together. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Uh, and, and everywhere I go, people are always, well, that's not true, but people are always <laughs> talking about his, with the spinal tap. Uh, I mentioned that because I ran into Harry Shearer the other night, and he uh, was talking about and he, it. And you threw food at it. I did. I, I threw a, a, a wad of bread at him in a restaurant. Yeah, it was very funny. He came yeah. running across, and uh, I had to had to punch him. Uh, but now I understand there is a reunion album and tour. That's what they say. Right. Yeah, we're. Oh. The boys, the boys are uh, are in the studio as we speak, and yeah. they're uh, we're we're putting together an album. Should be out in February or March, and and a tour of uh, a live tour, obviously. But now, is there going to be another film? I think that's also what people would be. No, in. I don't think so. I think the theory being, if you get the first one right and you don't make any money, you don't make a sequel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I saw, I saw, I saw Spinal Tap. Uh, I don't know if I rented it or saw it someplace. Uh, I, I don't remember stuff like this anymore. But uh, I, it, it, you it, have it, the receipt. <laughs> yeah, someplace. But it's it's really a very nice piece of work Thank and you. very very entertaining. Good to see. You. I'm sorry we're out of time. And uh, it begins a uh, session Sunday night? Sunday night after Ghost. Good. Pleasure to have you here, Michael. Thank Thanks for being with us. I'm going to we'll be back with B.B. King. <laughs>
Chicago's Cabrini Green, where the only way out is up. This here is your one-way ticket out of here. One coach will unite them. Why won't you let me play? Two players divide them. You think I'm ready for the pros? Both have the power. Both have the talent. Only one can make it to the top. He always was a joke. Let's play ball then. Heaven is a playground. Rated R. Opens Friday, October 4th. The thrill is gone. I could, I could listen to that all night. You want to play that one instead of this one or not? You probably want to play this one, don't you? But you know, when I, when I hear that song, it, it makes me want to drink when I hear that song. It, it just, you know, it makes you just kind of uh, like life is, yeah, yeah. Something like this. Thrill is gone. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This one, it says, it's the best album uh, you've recorded. Yep, you can't ask for a higher endorsement than that, folks. This is, uh, uh, he's been here with the band all night and has won five Grammys, including uh, one this year for Best Traditional Blues Recording. His uh, new album is called There Is Always One More Time. Here he is, legendary musician and performer, B.B. King. Oh, B.B. King.
Prices are low at Subway, but I'd rather focus on sandwiches. People call them hoagies or heroes or submarines, because they're shaped like submarines. But we call them Subway sandwiches. Our six-inch meatball sub features meatballs and sauce on bread I just baked, all for a low economical price. I won't say how low, but you'll probably find enough in the cushions of your couch. <laughs> for 25 years, Subway has quietly made some of the best sandwiches anywhere. Like the six-inch meatball sub, only $1.69, only at Subway. There's a place where the home team always wins. Where fashion models cling to ordinary guys. And ordinary guys really know how to dance. Why can't life be like beer commercials? Why? Ask. Why? Try Bud Dry. It's dry brewed, not watered down. To drink light, yet satisfied completely. Because when all the world's a stage, your refreshment should be real. Does the sniffling and sneezing that's keeping you up at night tell you your cold pill isn't doing all it should? Does your coughing and sore throat give you the feeling those tiny time pills aren't so advanced? Then it's time to try the new NyQuil Liquid Cap. It has the relief you expect of liquid medicines for coughs and sore throats, plus relief for sneezing and congestion. The Vicks NyQuil Liquid Cap. The very first nighttime sniffling, sneezing, coughing, aching, sore throat fever so you can rest Liquid Cap. Why put up with glasses that just don't fit? LensCrafters has so many ways to fit your snug points. Like snug fit pads that flex to comfortably hug your nose. LensCrafters, better fit for greater comfort in about an hour. New Stu Studio Hot Twirling Curls from L'Oreal makes hot roll tools more cool. Now great curls take shape fast and last and last and last. Your like New Studio Line Hot Twirling Curls. It says here on August 30th, our next guest jumped into an AMC station wagon and drove himself to school. <laughs> From DeSoto, Missouri, folks, this is uh, Matt Ball. Hi, Matt. Nice to see you. Welcome to the program. How old are you? Nine years old, and it looks to me like you have a problem with your arm. Is it broken? But that didn't happen in the uh, driving situation, did it? How did you break your arm? I fell off my roof. Fell off your roof. What were you, <laughs> what were you, what were you doing on the roof? I did Going after a gun. <laughs> is, that, is that where Dad keeps the gun on the roof? No, it isn't a real gun. Yeah, all right. It's not a real gun. Well, that, that's certainly comforting news. All right, now, so tell us uh, what happened here. It's uh, what day of the week was this? Like a Monday, a Tuesday? You don't know. Uh, and you have to go to school. And usually you go to school on what? The bus? Yeah. All right, so what happened? You get up, you're ready to go to school, then what happens? I went down to catch the bus and... Bus thing came and I went back up and my way for my mom to get home and and after that I walked to school and I saw his gym. See, I think that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you had missed the bus. You go home. You wait for your mom. Mom's not back yet, and you 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 think I have to get to school. H had you missed the bus before? Yeah. Had you gotten in trouble for missing the bus? So the pressure is really on to get to school. Isn't it? <laughs> you have got to get to school. All right, so. You walk and you see the, the AMC, is that what it is? GMC, whatever it is. You, GMC, okay. Then what happens? I took two steps and, and I saw the... I went and think there's keys and the doors unlocked and there's... Keys are in the ignition. Now is this car, does it belong to a neighbor? Do you know who owns the car? No, no, okay, good. That's good. <laughs> That's good, okay. Then, then you just get right in? Mm -hmm. And what did you do? When the car came and I ducked down and I started it up, started it up and I took, I started two times because, like, something was with it. So it didn't start right up, but eventually, eventually you got it running. Now, had, had you driven a car before? No. Right, okay. So now you got you to gotta back it out, you got to pull it out. What do you have to do with it? I, I drive it. Mm -hmm. That's what I had to do. Yeah, did you have trouble getting it in gear? What, what gear did you get it into? Was it reverse or forward? Was it forward. The, okay, so it's an automatic transmission. All right, and you just you start driving. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then what happens? Was, was it light traffic, heavy traffic? Was, uh, <laughs> you drove it to school. And I went and I was going to park it. And this lady saw me. And I backed up. 
that backed up and I took off. Okay, so you... <laughs> so somebody saw you driving the car at school and you back up and you take off. <laughs> and, and, and you're thinking to yourself, Oklahoma. I'm going to Oklahoma. <laughs> so, so then where do you go? I was going to go take it back. You, oh, you're going to return it. All right, that's good. That's good. Now, at what point did the police find you? They sat by the violence squad, I think. They did what? This is a, a location in the it's city? Behind 7th grade. Oh, I, the police find you there. What, okay, we have, to, we have to do a commercial? Okay, well, stay right there. We'll, we'll continue the uh, story. Yeah. We'll right for those of you looking for the big taste of Miller Genuine Draft, in a light beer, we proudly present Cold Filter Miller Genuine Draft Light. shopping at a big city store they were shocked at the prices but they took the deal because the clerk offered easy payments well they got the furniture about six weeks later i think they got their payment book before that well that kind of thing doesn't happen at ann furniture on route six in ridgeville corners ohio and furniture has a policy fast delivery same day when possible at your convenience not theirs stop out and see the 30,000 square foot and furniture warehouse save money and get what you buy when you want it I'm on the new Candy Camera show to tell you about the Pizza Hut Candy Camera winning grins game. Winning smiles game. Winning smiles game. Get a game card at Pizza Hut. You can be an instant winner or have a chance at hundreds of thousands in cash. And prizes. And prizes. <laughs> oh. Just watch Candy Camera for the winning numbers and remember to get a game card at Pizza Hut. Thanks, Tina. Tammy. Tammy, what was I thinking of? <laughs> Join Dom DeLuise for the new Candy Camera weekday mornings at 9.30 on TV 33. All right, so the policeman stopped you, and was, was there gunplay? No. no, there was no gunplay. Did you get in trouble? What, yeah. did, what did the cop say? He just told me to get out of the car. Get out of the car. And then, and then what happened? Did he take you home? No, he took, took me in the cop car yeah. and waited for the owner to get back. Was there ever a chance you were going to prison? <laughs> now, now, you know what you did was wrong. Are you going to do it again? No. All right, good. Then I think we've accomplished something here tonight. <laughs> uh, good night, everybody. <laughs> Friday, there's too much passion. You're breathing a little heavy on my mohair. When Louise falls for a hot young handyman. She's getting hammered. An exciting new Dear John. Then, could the family knucklehead have hidden talent? I could do more than just shoot milk through my nose. Truly a renaissance man.